Monster train, let's go. Is enough to reignite a revolution. Monster train. This is monster train, you guys. It's a deck builder. Let's do this. Thanks for the bits. Cheers, my apple juice to that. So, we have some more clans we can play. Hellhorns, Awoken, Stygian Guard, and Umbra. Then you can pick a secondary clan to help you out. Any games you would suggest? Monster Train. What was that moan? Umber looks like sleep paralysis demon. Let's try Stygian Guard since I don't think you guys have seen that. Are you guys, have you seen the Awoken? Or did you just see the Hellhorned last time? Did we play an Awoken? I think we just played Hellhorned. So maybe we should walk down the line. Ah. Uh, ooh. Oh yeah. You can't pick Awoken with an Awoken allied clan though. Let's do Awoken Stygian. We could try that. So like depending on your primary and your secondary, you get cards. Um, Great Trader will devour your spells. You better bring more of them if you hope to succeed. So let's see here. The first spell card played each turn gets a consume. That's terrible. That's the final final boss if we can make it there. Upgrade our champion. What she does is she doesn't do any damage. She's basically just a shield, but we can upgrade her so that she does do damage. <clears throat> Revenge, triggers when damaged, draw one card. Or, triggers when you when you heal her, deals 15 damage to the front enemy unit. I like the rejuvenate one. This class is all about healing. Apply a rooted to enemies when they enter the floor below the pyre room. That's the top floor. Whenever you play a spell and spells in that hand that cost less are reduced to zero. So if we had like a really expensive spell, we could maybe do that. I'm gonna say root split. All right, first level. Basically, we have to. You'll you'll get the hang of it if this is your first time seeing a monster train. It's it's pretty good. The gathered clergy, angry hordes are swarming your train. Thin their numbers before they reach your pyre. So our pyre is up here, 80 out of 80 health. It also does 20 damage to anybody that gets near it. We can uh, turn on this trial, it's called, for an additional 75 coins. And I say we do it. The trial was uh, having enemies load into my, my uh, this here. Start a battle, enemy units appear on each floor. I'm gonna let them just go at the pyre and they'll get killed off. My pyre will take, I don't know, 20, 30 damage, but um, it'll be okay. We'll survive. So I wanna play my sentient and then maybe even just frozen lance all these guys away because five damage each is a lot. There we go. So each train car has like a certain amount. Oh, they got rooted, okay. They're stuck there. Each train car has like a certain capacity. It's up here, floor capacity. Um, if there's nobody there to attack, they don't attack anybody. Let's see here, I wanna get this collector. I gained 50 money. If I can kill it, it's gonna leave. If I can't kill it, I can kill it if I go ahead and put my uh, train steward here and then remove the front boy. Now my train steward will attack it and get the money. Restoring my lady it does 15 damage to the front enemy unit, so that's nice to do that. Tons of damage coming in though. She's almost dead already. Rooting these guys is perfect because the longer it takes them to get there, the less damage they do. I really need to put some damage on this floor. Put some heals on that lady. Not bad. 
Does the pyre heal? You can heal the pyre in, in different ways. All right, so when the final boss comes out, it's called Relentless, and essentially everything just keeps attacking until one or the other side dies. And it already tells you how much damage you're gonna be doing. Um, she's gonna die, he's gonna die, this is gonna die, that's gonna die, and he won't even get touched. Which is of course a problem. So I'm thinking maybe we put a restore here. Kill that thing. Now he's gonna be dead. So at this point in time, we could stop and go no further, and we'll win. Um, I'm not gonna stop, though. Alright, now she's gonna even live through this. She should only take three damage at the end of this. Done. So we got that plus 75, and we only took seven damage on our pyre. We get to add a, uh... What are they called? Awoken spell card here. Restoration detonation. Restore 10 health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount healed. Razor sharp edge. Enhance a unit with plus eight attack and minus two health. We could do that on our, our hero and she would gain eight attack at that point in time. She's got zero right now. Consume, apply five regen. I really like the regen with the um, ability for her to do damage every single time that she heals because on the turn you can heal her She'll do the damage, but then after the turns over she gets the regen which still does the damage So we're gonna be heal heavy This is also good just because it can do tons and tons of damage You had that last time heal. I Think our prime or our secondary clan was this awoken clan last time Probably why I thought that we were, that we had already played her. I'm, I'm, I'm split between these two. I'm t so terribly split. 10 damage, up to 50 damage. This one, though, is going to do a constant 15 per turn. Which is going to be even more than 50. Plus the heals. Crypt Builder. Anything that says offering on it, essentially we're probably not going to end up playing it unless we discard it. If you discard this card, it automatically plays it. Deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit and push it to the back. Offering over here, deal 5 damage to the enemy units and apply 10 Frostbite. Frostbite unit takes 1 damage per stack at the end of turn, decrease every turn. So it's like a poison, would be like a Frostbite. Ice and Pyre. Pyre Bound. Deal 90 damage to the front enemy unit. Pyre Bound can only be played in the Pyre Room and the floor below it. That could be good, but I don't think we're going to end up using it that much, so I'm just going to not mess with that. That's balls. I really actually don't like the Stygian. I don't, know if, I don't even know if that was Stygian or if that was clanless, but... Alright, you have to choose a side every time. On the right side, we'll get a Stygian unit and be able to forge our units or upgrade them. Every unit has two upgrade slots. Every spell has two upgrade slots. Here, we'll get 75 coins and we'll be able to forge spells, but I think we need more units. Let's get the unit here. Guard of the Unnamed. Incant, gain three armor. Uh, incant triggers when you cast a spell on the floor. Siren of the Sea, Incant. A plus one attack and plus one health. You could both be pretty strong. Is this that game from Tuesday? Yes, it is. Max Stewards. Siren of the Sea. We'll get Siren of the Sea and then Upgrader. Probably should have saw what my upgrades were before I decided to do that. Upgrade a unit with incant gain one armor. Gain one armor, one health, and one attack? That sounds pretty nice. I can make her even beefier and have her start with more health and damage. Sounds hot. Is that like you, Randy? And I'll save the money from after that. Let's go. Super buff the stewards. I hate the stewards. I dump them off. There's so many better things. 
Penitent prayers, the reconcilers, have arrived in great force to make sure that you repent for the sins that hell has brought upon the world. Should go to the scene that moves my face cam over here for a second. There we go. Um, armor, enemy units uh, enter with 10 armor. We'll get a unit draft at the end of it. You think we can handle it? They, they carried you last time. Easy. I don't know about this, though. They're already pretty armored. And anybody that, like, has two health, now they're going to have 12 health. Yep. I already immediately regret this decision. Um, add a Sinner's Burden card at the top of my pile if I don't kill him. What if... What if I put my sentient, who's supposed to be a blocker, in the back, and then put my siren of the sea in front? I think what I'm gonna, but I'll probably put the sentient in front to take the damage, and then my siren in the back. Oh, she's so big. And then I'll heal her, which does damage, which will also um, activate her and can't. Because most of her encant is like shield and health based, right? It's two for one, but oh well. I'm gonna guess that there's that gonna be that little money guy up in the top. Hopefully, that's two where it's gonna get him. Ha ha! Got him. Apply regen five. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on you. Um, this back guy's not gonna die. And that's gonna be a problem with me. How much damage are you doing? Zero damage. Only 22 from you. And the health... 15 damage. Maybe if I... No, I don't think I can make it happen. This Frozen Lance is balls because you can only hit the front... the front unit, not the back. Lance. But that's the thing, though. I can get him down to... What? 22? And then the health healing from this... 22 damage from there. Depends on if the healing hits first or if she hits first. Sweet. We did it. Plus 50 money. She hit first, which is perfect. And then the healing regen... Okay, we're good. Cool, cool. 100 bits. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. I don't think it really matters what we do from here on. Applying regen, though, is nice. And the encant. Don't forget about that. She's getting damage every time I heal her as well. Final wave already. Okay, this guy's got spikes. He's already dead, it doesn't matter, the, the game's over. But, uh, let's just pretend that it's not. What else does he have? Relentless? Nothing, okay. So now we just have to let it play out. Done. What's our St. Jude total? Our St. Jude total is one th uh, 11293 and 60 cents. We crushed it. All right. Restore two health to all front of the units and deal two damage to all enemy units. Enhance a unit with plus eight attack and minus two health or deal five for free. Five damage to the front enemy unit and draw one next turn. Stings can really stack up if I can get a lot of them. The last St. Jude stream, that's correct. That is correct. Let's see here. Glimmer is good, especially if we upgrade it. We can do 12 damage to all enemy units. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Glimmer here. Okay, that's another offering card. We saw that one already. Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit and discard a card at random. Or Flash Freeze, deal 3 damage to anyone. Apply Frostbite 8. Flash Freeze could be good. Enemy! Or, uh, a dude character person thing. 
Sweep is nice. It, it attacks everybody. Vine Mother, resolve that it means triggers after combat. Add a sting spell to your hand. So we could put the Vine Mother like on the top floor and she'll just feed us um, sting cards. But does combat mean there has to be an enemy in the room or is it just after a turn? Slay, yeah, plus two damage every time it kills something. Shattered Shell is looking good. We could get another Nameless Siren. Actually, this is a different Siren. We have... Siren of the Sea. This is Nameless Siren, which means in can't gain Rage 1, which is plus two um, damage. Let's try the Sweep. Need some upgrades, but... Forge units again? Or do we want to duplicate a card? If I duplicated a card, I'd probably duplicate and get another Siren of the Sea, since it's like fully upgraded, or maybe another Wildwood Sap, but... Stygian unit, Pyre health, Forge units... There's no Forge spells here. I could go either way with this one, but I think that having multiple sirens, like we're not casting as many spells on the other floor. Dupe Siren. She's strong. She's very strong. Where's the donate button, Lamau? I swapped it out for the uh, St. Jude Tiltify link. Otherwise, we could forge our new Shattered Shell, and I'm kind of feeling like we should just forge our Shattered Shell. If you hit us uh, Concealed Caverns, you can get to that on either either path. See if we get anything from that first before we upgrade. I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. No time to explain. Take these and hide them for me. I can't afford to be caught with them now, so I'll have to come back for them later. Don't worry. You'll be con compensated greatly or generously later on. Quickly now. He gives me three Dante's candles, and what that is is uh, I play it, and if I don't play it, which costs one energy, my pyre takes three damage every time I don't play it. I'm not going to do it. Do it, he's amazing. He's not that good though. I got him before. Offline, and it was garbage. I hated it. Quick is super good. Sweep plus quick sounds like a nice combination. But it needs more damage. Do I want to go for the cheap damage here? <laughs> Maybe. All right. There's nothing left to upgrade. So, I mean, I could upgrade my train stores, but <laughs> Lao Sum with a hundred dollars to Tiltify. Oh, yeah. Wonderful stuff. On the last day, Pikachu's gonna be Eevee's top. And that's how we're rolling. Thank you so much. Laos. Up your stewards. No. You know what? Because you're talking smack, I'm removing one of my stewards. Every time that you guys talk smack, another steward dies. Eevee would be bottom. Dorless. Heavily armored creations protect his ex-professor in this quest to safeguard Seraph and the winged plating seal. Constructed explosives enter with a damaged shield. I really hate that one. Really hate that one. Unfollowing. Sweet, Slouse. Pretty flippin' sweet, though. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, mama. <laughs> Glimmer. Love that one. 
is saucy. Makes more sense to restore than to frozen lance. Because that'll kill him outright. And give this lady some regen. Alright, we gotta get through that damage. Uh, it does 10 damage to the front unit if I can't kill it. And I'm gonna put this boy on the second floor. I think. Damage shield one. We don't have a good combination of anything going on here. We're just gonna end up getting hits. So if I could heal her, she could do some damage. If I would have had the freaking glimmer now, flash freeze it, but it blocks that first one. And then if I can't reach it in the second one, my frozen lance, this guy is gonna be dead. That's about it. Flash freeze this to we'll save ourselves four damage. King Neptune, five dollars until Defy. I'm finally waking up early enough to catch your streams, lol. Much love from here in Australia. Cheers to that. Thank you so much, King Neptune. Appreciate all of you. Bot timed me out. It's as loud as snow way. Because <laughs> of too many exclamation points. Plant dude up top have little mouse face on bottom of it. This one? I don't, it's not really a mouse face, but yeah, it's right here. It's like a little mask looking thing. That sleigh thing is right in the way. Ah, sleigh is right in the way. And my front shield lady's almost dead. The bomb got rooted. Yeah, right. All right, Wildwood Sap, that's good timing. And honestly, regen, regen. Healing, healing, and then killing. It's just, it's such a good combination. It's a, it's a twofer. You don't die less, and they die more. That's not good for you. But if I go ahead and heal kill these guys, it'd make my life much easier on the bottom. He has, he has quick. Okay, here's what we do. Restore, restore. Kills that shield off. This guy is gonna be dead, dead. Awesome. Frozen lands this guy. With the quick, you'll hit it before it explodes. Booyah! And you hit the back guy because of your sweep. Jay Harmon gifted a sub to Laos. Wonderful, nice work. Agree with that, with that move. Glimmer here. Top notch. Flash freeze that back piece of shit. Well, could we kill it otherwise? You're only taking five damage because of your seven regen. So you'll be fine. If I frostbite this guy, we can do some damage. Eight damage, seven damage, six damage, five. Like from here on forward, that's gonna do nicely. It's a nice move, it is. We'll take the bomb, it's fine. Glad I have your approval. Well, it's not really my approval, I just, give me a high five. All right. This is the last wave, he's dead. He's mega dead and she's only gonna lose 14 throughout this entire thing. More like she's only gonna lose one health. This boy sucks. Okay, I hit him and somehow the damage she's taking has gone up. I'm not sure what would have done that. Slow this down if it's too well in the way of trying to get to the slowdown button. I ended up super speeding it up because I had to go up all the way to the top and then wrap back. Whatever. Oh well. All right. Consume. Draw X. Enhance all cards drawn this way with minus two energy. So basically, we just draw a bunch of cards and they're most likely going to be free whilst using most of all of my energy. It's X cost. Enhance, is that permanently? Mod a card for the duration of the battle. From there on out, those cards will be minus two. That's really good. Harness the train, enhance all spells in hand with plus five magic power. That would be good too, um, because this would do eight damage. This would deal 11. Restore would restore, uh, or Glimmer rather, would do seven and seven. This would restore seven health. This would, uh, no, that's a stack. 
that wouldn't have, that wouldn't apply to the woodwoods wildwood sap. Transfers all frostbite on this floor to a unit, then doubles the amount of frostbite. That could be really cool, but we're not really heavy on the frostbite. Because you did another hit, maybe leaving him with one life, letting him get one more hit. But you wouldn't be able to leave him at one health. Like, I, I did more damage to him. Right? So that you wouldn't be able to like... It, it, let's say I did six damage. So now he's at one health. If I had, had I not done that, he would have been at seven da health left, right? It's like... You made it on an odd point, but only going down can ever make more damage on me. I'm liking the rail spike here. It sounds pretty nice. Although if I got uh, like a double stack card, I could bump this up to 10 plus 10 magic power. Let's just use this one. Okay, okay. I'm, I mean, maybe. Maybe you have a point gap, and I don't know. But it, it doesn't make any sense to me. These guys are really good. Let's see here. Rejuvenate gains spikes, or rejuvenate gains health and attack. I'm going to maybe take a um, Awoken Hollow and put him on top floor. I think putting something in front of the Shattered Shell would be a smart move. So it could even be middle floor still. Thorn seems powerful. And two spikes every time it's healed. Yeah. And that would, that would, uh, basically the spikes hurt anything that attacks it. Right. Thorn when you just stick a bunch of thorns in you. Did your attacker have life steal if you damaged him? No, I, I checked. There was none. There's no life steal. Let's do the the woke boy. We gotta split our um, healing up now between floors, so that's gonna get a little tricky. But I'm gonna go with the plus one energy right now. If we our capacity is okay. That boy be woke. All right, what do we got? Awoken unit, forge spells, remove two cards, or artifact, pyre health, money. Definitely gonna go over here. Animu and a husk hermit. That's the one that we already have. Um, if anything, I think I'd rather just duplicate. I'd rather just duplicate the Husk Hermit that we currently have. Um, Animu, I wouldn't mind putting an Animu on the top floor or something. Scales really well with the multi-strike, yeah. We don't have Husk. We have Shattered Shell. Similar. We'll try this. Getting too many cards, though. I just like duplicating the good ones, you know? I'm gonna say take off a Frozen Lance, because it's boring as hell. And another Train Steward. Upgrade a spell to remove Consume, and cost one more. Do we have any Consume cards? So we'd be able to get it back again and again and again? Could do that and then make it cost one less. Sap would be uh, good to use uh, on that too, but yeah, you're probably right. I'm Chad and I'm so smart. <laughs> now make it cost one less again. <laughs> Ten magic power would be a phenomenal thing to put on Glimmer, I think. <laughs> and that's all of our money. Upgrade our champ. I'm gonna stick with rejuvenation here. Spikes, 10 spikes is not gonna be that big of a deal. Killing frontliners just by healing is gonna be the good thing here, I think. That's double damage now.
enemies start enter with uh, armor 15. We get extra 150 coins for it. Fuck it. Bring it, baby. Extra pain. I can handle it. <clears throat> this back that guy, though. Add a weight of contrition card to the top of your draw pile. I think that's pretty pretty bad. Oh yeah, cost one. Your pyre takes three damage if I don't play it. Let's do this. We don't have our Siren of the Sea right now. We could put our Shattered Shell down here. Worth it? I really want multi-strike on this thing. It's too late now. Maybe. I mean, it works really, really well to have the sentient with the encant lady, but we could put the encant lady behind our awoken hollow as well. And that would be just fine, because we he needs to have heals to upgrade as well. Maybe. The spike. I could use the spike right now. I think that we probably should place something behind her in case we don't get it. Animus would be good. It's just unupgraded. It's Shattered Shell would do just about the same amount of damage. Plus quick, plus sweep, plus slay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Awoke Rail Spike. Glimmer's good, though. Yeah, they're dead. Not, well, this one's not completely dead. I'm not dead yet! Siren will be able to finish him off. Extra large. Right? 20 damage? Yeah. Looks like a good-ass game, no idea what's going on, but looks good. I'm trying to explain everything that I'm doing. I know I'm doing it very quickly, but... Let's put our Awoken... Oh, they can't fit together! Because she's extra large. <sighs> Why must you punish me like this? We could put a train store doll up there. Sneak him in the back. There, now that'll die. Awoken Hollow on the top, maybe. I do as much damage in this guy as possible. So she's just not gonna get any upgrades. It would have been better to put her with the... the thing in the bottom. Now we know. She would have been really, really good with the Awoken boy, but it's too late. Wildwood Sap, I'm definitely gonna strike that on you. I'm gonna get some more heals off on this boy up here. That's gonna die. That won't die. That won't die either. This is more pressing of a matter, in my opinion. Losing health here. Glimmer. Just use it on the bottom. You're dead. You're dead, and you are also dead. Minus six health here. Minus five health here. Zero health lost here. Let's... Get a restore on you. Get some steward in that. I can even put the steward first. There's no, there's no big deal here if the steward takes like a, like a meat shield. 
works for me. And then I even heal you, because you, you go up. And damage and health and armor if I cast on you. Kill this sucker. Cool. So, for those of you who are just joining or have no idea what's going on, every single time that my sentient hero, this is my hero with the, the person I put down first, like pretty much every time, zero attack, lots of health, every time she gets rejuvenated or healed, um, deals 30 damage, even when she's at full health. Can I stick my, ah, jeez, my animal would be way better than a train steward. If I did the front line, I'd have to kill my own. I can't even. I can't even kill my own guy. I want to kill my own guy. Can't even do that. I'm worthless. Let's put a heal on you. That's funny. Stewart is the best huts. Stewart is just no. All right, this is the final wave. This guy is relentless. Armor 15, um, nothing special. It's gonna, currently gonna lose 194 health. This guy in the back adds a weighted contrition card to the top of your drop pal, which isn't that big of a deal at the moment. Um, I think I'm gonna Wildwood Sap the Sentient again. And now, after I did that, it's dead. Turns over. This is just free. Do that for fun. Go. And it just plays out until somebody dies now. It's called Relentless. Steward's really good with upgrades. Anything can be okay with upgrades, Judy. Get out of here with that nonsense. Steward loves you. A little bit of sissy emote. Stop. My dad just called me twice. I feel like I should take a, a break and answer the phone in case it's an emergency. When somebody calls you once, it's fine. So it calls you twice, maybe. Consume, draw one, enhance the drawn card, cost is zero. We could just go hard on the uh, making spells cost nothing. Restore one health, gain one energy, draw one next. Engraft is a free use, potentially 30 damage for our, our hero lady. And I think I should just take and graft. Draw three would be really good if we had a, um, a thorn build. Is that what they're called? I don't even have one of them. Uh, the zero cost cards. We don't. Who wants to be in the steward gang? We're going graft here. All right. This is the Stygian card that we have. Apply six Frostbite to all enemy units. I like that one a lot. Sap three, minus two attack per sap. Uh, Encant, it's a Glacial Seal, it's a, a, a bro. Apply two Frostbite to enemies, so any, anytime I cast a spell on that floor, we, we just don't have enough room for them. But the Frostbite's good. Frostbite's deadly. I'm gonna go with the Crystalline Seeds. Mexican Penguin, seven months, choo-choo. Thank you for that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give my call, uh, my dad a call back. I'm gonna give my call a dad back, and uh, give me like two minutes, I'd say. Bear right back.
Everything's fine. Dad's just impatient. All right, we can buy trinkets or artifacts rather here. We ha have like no artifacts at all. 20 health for our pyre. We haven't lost any because we are geniuses. And a remove two cards vortex. We get a free artifact here, forge spells and 75 bonus coins. We have some spells to, to upgrade. Boy, oh, do we. Let's see here. What's our thing? Apply daze to enemy units when they enter the pyre room. Your pyre gets minus five attack. So, daze when it enters the pyre room. I don't exactly know what that would do when they enter the pyre room. Because I feel like it's relentless whenever they jump into the pyre room, they just kind of go back and forth until something dies, I thought. So, dazed. Oh, it gets the first shot at 25. It gets the first shot. So basically, it's saying, give my pyre quick. I got it. Which would probably kill most things that come up there. Or merchants are reduced 25%. I don't think we have a problem with money. So let's take Vapor Funnel, just in case. We don't have a problem with either of them. No one's ever touched our pyre. Scoff. At this point in time, though, if something has lower than 25 health, I can let it go. I can forget about it and say, fuck it, go to my pyre, see what happens. But uh, we're also rooting them before they even get to the pyre room, so that's probably just not going to happen. You know what I mean? Holdover. If we were to put holdover on something, what would we put holdover on? Holdover on glimmer? We could just glimmer every single turn. Could glimmer, you know, and graft, and then just continually get a free and graft every single time. Oh yeah, glimmer it. I wouldn't mind engrafting and then um, making this free cost. It would be extra energy. It'd basically be an upgrade that would give us five energy per turn. Let's do that. And then on the next time that we have a choice of, of getting energy or capacity, we take capacity. That's pretty good. Upgrade a spell with plus 20 magic power and consume. I don't totally mind doing that on like a frozen lance. Right. Just have one card that just really socks it to him. Permafrost. If I don't play it, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm not sure if I, you know, maybe I could put permafrost in the rail spike. So that like I can use it whenever I feel like it's the best time. But I feel like we could probably do better with it. I could put Frozen on Crystalline Seeds, too, and just kind of wait for when I really need to do it. It's really weird, like Bioshock, but I space and quite difficult. What are you talking about? Putting I mean, Consume on a Frost Lance is nice. Yeah, it gets rid of it. Pray the game. Got it. I just, I don't really mess with permafrost that much. Missed being in your streams, that's... Missed being in my stream? Oh, you mean like just being here? Let's make a free glimmer. Yeah, we can do better. Free flash freeze. <laughs> Double power glimmer. Go. Save the rest of my money. Um, was that it? Yeah, the discard was on the other side. Cool. So we have this battle, and then we get to here, and then this battle, and then we get to here. This battle. Right? Did I count that right? One battle, two battle, three battle, four battle, and then we're done. Only four more battles. Hidden Assault. Sneaky Clipped have infiltrated your train. Use spells in higher floors to take them out. This one, this enemy has stealth. So they come on with eight stealth, which pretty much destroys 
everything in the bottom floor without a second, without a chance for them to even be able to fight back. So, anything put in the bottom floor is probably gonna die. We are buffing multiple floors here. Game Collector, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. Probably not gonna do that. Eight stealth seems impossible. It's crazy. Do you want backseating for this or just experiencing yourself, says Poncho? Says Poncho is like a super genius, ultra genius person. Smartest person alive. You should not. I'm not gonna do it, yeah. Random artifact, though. We could probably handle it, I'm just saying. All right, what do we got? Game collector, 10 subs gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Woo, says Butter Butter. Woo was correct. I need my, my sentient champion on the bottom, but she's definitely gonna die by the end of this. A walk in hollow. Go. Or do we want Shark Lady in the middle? Welcome, by the way, to Alox Xeno. Um, Archer Rules. Psychic Rat. A Stable Horse. Bat Manolo. Markrin. Dr. Death's List. Back to Attack. Also, and the Hunter Dylan. Noises though. Too much extra health here. Hots in another universe turned it on and got demolished. Devin, Prime Sub, what's up? This holdover in Graft is working out. That thing's super dead. Siren of the Sea. Top floor, milady. No, oh, I wanted to put her on the bottom floor. Shoot! I forgot I was waiting. In my head, I was like, we put her on the top floor last time. Stewards, you're in. <laughs> All right, fine, stewards. Oh, how unfortunate. I mean, she's still gonna slay, but... Maybe this is better, you guys, because she would have died with the eight stealth. I don't know. I'm floundering. I need help. 26 damage, you're done. We don't even need to use it, though. That's the thing. I could just not use it and, and save it. Sub zero, 100 bits. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Squash. <laughs> this is what that thing said. Shattered Shill, you're in, my brother. A purpose found. You know, stewards, I did say that I wanted your help, but you know I was just kidding, right? I was just joking, man. Do we have any other uh, characters that we could throw in there other than stewards? For the love of God, I don't want stewards. Meat shield steward. You can't even fit anywhere. No one wants you. Twelve damage coming in. Ooch, ooch, ooch. Probably the rail spike. Probably sap first. A free glimmer. Flash freeze is already free, so that's kind of a kick in the dick, but... Free Glim... Glim City, baby. I don't even have anybody to flash freeze. They're all dead. All my friends are dead. What if I flash froze and just killed my steward for fun? Heal the big guy? Yeah, you're right. I, I should be spreading out this. 
this stuff. I mean, this does the most damage, but this guy needs to be boofed up. Also, if I start casting spells in this top floor, that other lady, I should not forget that she's got a thing that she increases uh, health damage and armor upon me casting a spell. It's, it's working. Don't kill the steward. I don't know, he backtalked me. He gave me too much shit. Oh, it's the last floor, okay. It's eight stealth, everyone's dead. All my friends are dead. Don't really need to glimmer, but we could glimmer. But glimmer might just be better to heal this guy because he only starts at 23 health. I'm not sure. Wildwood Sap would not be a bad idea either, I don't think. Helping her survive between each wave. I'm just gonna go hard on her, I think, and see if, yeah, that went, that bumped from 90 damage to 192 damage. Now up to 264 of her 298 damage. Nothing changed there. Now it's dead. Now we got it. It's done. Didn't even make it past the first floor! Because of my regen. Regen is so good. So attacks, regens with the 30 damage. Attacks, regens with the 30. Attacks, regen. Boom. We should have put multi-strike on. The top floors didn't even get touched. <sighs> Whoa, Black Betty. Bramble Lash. Invigorating solution. This is non... Um, well, any more free cards is actually making it more difficult for us to... use our, uh... uh rail spike, effectively. This is just still free, though, even if I don't have it for free. Let's take it. More frostbite. Or this, and can't add armor, one armor to uh, friendly units. Putting that with the uh, the shark lady, because I think I'm gonna go for capacity next. I think would be a good idea. But I still want to try to stick the. If I do the capacity up, what I'm gonna end up doing is sticking the um. Siren of the Sea behind my Awoken Hollow. Possibly. Sap. Read it. Minus two attack per stack. Decreases every turn. I, I think it's just the worst thing ever, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just going to skip it for now. Duplicate or forge my spells. If I were to duplicate something, it would probably be... Possibly my rail spike. Possibly my holdover and graft. Holdover actually does take your card draw, though. It's placed on top of your draw pile, so it's not like you get a free card. It takes place of one of the cards you're gonna draw. So that that would take two of my cards that I draw out of the out of my deck, right? Or no, it wouldn't, because I draw one extra next turn. So by using them, it'd just be the first turn that turn that would do that. So still not bad. I mean, I could get like a second shattered shell, which would be pretty baller. I could get a second. Hollow. It's just free. Or I could try to upgrade my spells. Which we're saying, you know, my rail spike has got nothing that makes it better. Chrysalin's got nothing. But those ones are hard to upgrade anyways because you need to have something that makes it does, doesn't have consume. And I think that's like one of the only spells that's going to affect that or cost less. 
It's probably a waste to go that way. Let's let's do the dupe. Hellvent first. We might get a dupe here in the Hellvent. Historian makes his way towards the train in his unusual carriage. Elborn, how fortunate that I am that our travels have finally crossed paths. I'm recording the events of Armageddon for posterity, possibly futile, I know, but I shall make a fortune if you do somehow succeed. So would you characterize yourself as honest, aggressive, or stealthy? Gain money and purge. Your pyre gets one attack for every ten money I have. Or deal two damage to an enemy, slay fifty. Petty theft is what I went with last time. It's pretty damn good. Or I could just spend one turn, purge this gra gift of gratitude out forever, and gain the 30 times. Removing junk out of your deck is a good idea. I, yeah, I agree. Aggressive. Why, why would you say aggressive? That seems like it's the worst one. No one's even touched our pyre. One attack for every 10. I'm going to spend most of my money. I spend most of my money every time anyways. This one would be nice because it wouldn't eat up our deck. We get it out of the way. Oh, and this is probably good late. Let's try it. Might not get a turn where we get a whole lot from it, but... Should we duplicate Honest? Get rid of what? Train Steward. Maybe in one of these lances. Casting is for full energy. I think we find what we're really good at. And we continue using that thing. And right now that would be our holdover and graft. That'd be an extra 60 damage per turn. And actually it'd be an extra two energy. Duplicate the steward. Cosmo. Saying the wrong thing every single time, I hope that's not getting old for you. <laughs> because it's getting a little old over here! Duplicate honest to big brain. Fell, the wings of light. Clipped Absolver's guard fell to weigh you down with guilt before the warrior can make her killing blow. She's gonna blow me? Remove these weights to thwart their assaults. To thwart their ass. Add scourge cards. My body's ready. Mm, those statues sound very moist. This sucks. Ultimate penance. Purge, and if I reserve it, my pyre takes five. But look at this combination right now. Santine right off the bat with a Siren of the Sea. Sick, bro. I'm gonna kill that thing so he doesn't put more of those weight of contritions in my deck. I can't handle that. I'm already dealing with her bullshit. Shattered shell for sure. Here, you'll be able to kill those guys off pretty easily. I'm gonna guard you with my hollow. That's the combo. This is the dream team that we have going on per floor here. This is it. Get rid of you, because you suck. I'm thinking about maybe just even putting the animus at the top right now to take care of that thing. Our animus right now is just terrible. This is just awful. Needs upgrades. 
We need to kill these things faster, though. We probably, honestly, should have put the sweep quick on the bottom to kill them off immediately. We're not doing enough right now, and now we're fucking overloaded to high hell. High hell? The highest hell. Blows. No one's taking damage here, though. Like, this thing, this shattered shell's been... Awesome. Sweep quick is... Mama. Good stuff. Alright, that, that's gonna die this time. The height of hell. You know, you guys, shut up. And graft me. So hard. I'm gonna put a, um, a wildwood sap on you so that you can keep buffing up. I can just let that go now. Um, rail spike for sure. Frostbite here. It even gets the boss. Spike my rails, daddy. Took my X cost card, you frickin' jerk. You f Dorcas. More frostbite, that's gonna add up, man. The free train steward? Do we have any other people? No. Train steward, go! Meat shield! Which is actually pretty good because this thing has three health. Neat. Spank it. That moist statue. Channel song is the best card. Especially when using a train steward. my impression of that. <sighs> this would be a good time to gift a gratitude, but I don't want to have to deal with this bullshit. These guys aren't even dead. I'm gonna go like this. 390 monies. Drafts. Drafts. Penance. Flash freeze. Done. Five damage is manageable for 60 gold. You're probably right. You're probably right. I don't want that, I didn't want that card to, to continue to come back though, later on when we needed to do other things. It was more safeguarding my future. We, we got a lot of money out of it and I'm happy with it. Been a while since I caught a stream, so this is twerking for butter. Welcome back. Glad to have you. Probably should be putting more heals in this guy, maybe. I don't know. Evil Within 2 better than the first. I played the second one, right? I don't think I even played the first one ever. As soon as we get to the point where it's the final wave. We really want to stack up the regen on this lady, so... He's already got five. He's doing well. I'm gonna just go like this and... Hammer it home. Get the regen here. Plus the, the damage that we're doing currently on, on the boss. 
great. What are your thoughts on canned corn? Canned corn is literally the worst shit ever. I hate it a lot. That's perfect. That's good timing because I just buffed her up. I hate canned corn so much. My roommate would just eat the shit out of canned corn. The same one that it did the whole like eating the potatoes over a week. And it would crack the canned corn and it would stink up the entire apartment. It smelled like absolute shit all the time. It's already dead. Like the fight's over. We already know that. I really rub it in though. What about creamed? I don't think I've ever had creamed corn. We totally could have handled five damage on our pyre. Unleash the Wildwood. Restore friendly units to full health. Consume. Discard your hand. Draw five. This would have been really good with the whole, like if we had those discard, play them for free things. Enhance a unit with plus ten health and apply four spikes. That, that seems like it's far too expensive. Like, far too expensive. Cycle of Life says Raynaud. It sounds terrible. Spikes 4 is not even good. 10 health and 4 for 3? I would do that for 1 cost. You have a lot of energy, though. It doesn't consume, though. You're right, I do have a lot of energy. Shit. It's reusable. I have tons of energy. And I just got rid of my X cost. Rail spike though. I can make it free with rail spike. So I did say that I was gonna use the uh, capacity. I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to fill that capacity though is the problem. I think maybe at this point in time we should just take Herzl's compound. We're not gonna get very many more. Where are we at? We have two more fights to go. None of these have a unit to gain. The units are all way back here. The banner, 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 thunder clatter, boom, boom, boom. They don't even give you units later on. It's a shame. If we would have gotten that frostbite guy, and then we would have been able to sneak him behind the shark lady, that would have been hot. Forge your units, concealed caverns, and pyre health. Duplicate money, unstable vortex. We have so much money. We could go ham on the trinkets. Next floor, I guess you'd call it. Next wall, next segment. If we were to dupe, what would we dupe? Honestly, another engraft. Dupe engraft. If I was able to upgrade my cycle of life or, or something, then like I would think about duplicating that, but I'm not. We don't even need to discard either. If I would upgrade my units, Animu, Animus is terrible. My hull has no upgrades either. We're never using them. Here's the thing, if I, if I, Upgrade those guys on the upper floors. They'll do better if anything ever happens If I duplicate my bottom floor is gonna get so buffed up Frozen caverns could be anything Your spells are the strong part of your deck, and it's very late game Engraft is the new wheel kick bottom floor only Upgrade. Is there a duplicate here? There is. Well, sh well, units, spells, who knows what we'll do next time. Let's forge our units. Hi. 
<laughs> Plus health sounds good for the Awoken Hollow. Seven circles of hell. That's, yeah, we're in hell trying to relight hell because heaven's like, like hell's frozen over right now. So Snowpiercer style, we're on a train carrying the last pyre shard, which could relight the, the fires of hell. Endless? No one's dying. Animus needs health. I know it's pretty lame to give it health though, isn't it? If something has sweep though, which might be coming up, I don't remember. If something has sweep, it will kill the Animus. So you're trying to save hell, yes. I have so much money though, I feel like I should just spend it on something. Spikes on, on hollow, health on animus. Spikes isn't even good though. Four spikes is, four damage every time it gets hit. Is that gonna change it anything? It's it's only gonna kill the backliners that have low health. That's the one way to do that, but then we already have Shattered Shell, it does that already. Keep the money for artifacts, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna reroll here. Encant, armor plus one. Large stone. We didn't upgrade the capacity. So we won't be able to fit like, that's good. I mean, maybe I should still do it on the Animus because we put the Animus on the top floor. We never put the Animus behind the Awoken Hollow. And that's just damage. That's good damage. She's usually alone or guarded by the train steward. Last line of defense. I'm going to do that. And maybe even more health. I'm going to put... I, mean, I think he should have health. Can only reroll it once, by the way. Fire health, which is unnecessary. I wish I got like money for that. Any excess. In a random event. Shards of the pie are remnants of the once great beacon of hell are strewn about. When it was ex extinguished, the shattered pyre must have been ejected through these hell vents across all nine rings. Taking advantage of the opportunity, some entrepreneurial soul decided to set up a still near the hell vent, converting what energy remained into potent liquids. While the owner must have heard you coming and scrambled off, some of their products remained. Do you take a swig? Bone Shine or Bone Rattler? Bone Shine is uh, X cost card, restore blank X to my, um, my pyre. It's a consume, which means it'll come back every battle. Or a bone rattler, enhance your pyre with three X damage. I don't think we need any of this. It's gonna just take up card draw. No one's, no one's touched our pyre and I hope no one does. What a waste. Damage would be good in emergency. Maybe, but we use a lot of our energy per turn. We have that backup energy with our uh, engrafts, though. I'm, I don't know. It's too late. 60 damage when re rejuvenating, or when damaged, I draw extra cards. Probably 60 damage. If it ain't broke. Every time I have this champion, I, I go for that. Every time. Enemy units enter with 20 armor for 400 coins. I don't even need that many coins. I could buy literally every trinket in the shop, though, probably. It's tempting. It's tempting. But these guys come in with 5 health, and that's going to make it 25 health. That, they're, they're huge, huge damage dealers in the back. Honestly, if I put my uh, sentient down right now, she's going to be half dead. I'm not dead yet. We should have put hold over on Glimmer, man. Glimmer's so good. All right, well, we have the bottom floor dream team down, which is nice. I'm going to not use this. Instead, Glimmer them away. 
craft my dude bro and put some regen on there neat second floor dream team is on the way third floor dream team which is literally just the animus the extra large bottom floor needs some work steel wings look at this thing look at that thing look at this look at this fucking chad bird 130 health chad Probably just flash freeze the back guy. Didn't even kill him. <laughs> what defines a bird is a Chad bird. I mean, can't she just look at it? It's seeping chat energy. And I'm off, says Dudeski. Oh, see a Dudeski. Thanks for stopping by. Gotta get him out. I really don't want to pass up my Wildwood sap either, but the rail spike, man. Still probably worth it. What are we gonna grab? We're gonna grab pretty much everything in here. Cycle of life is in there, and I think we should do it. Um, yeah, let's do it. Guarantee that we get it by giving ourselves five health. Or five energy, sorry. Is there a video of this on your channel? Not yet. It still costs one? Oh, because that's, um, it's minus two. Minus two energy, you son of a dog. I didn't read that. Well, I might have gone about this differently then. Okay, we're fine. I think we're gonna be fine. You know what guys, I think we're fine. <sighs> Definitely a glimmerable room there. I'm gonna beef this boy. He's already gonna die, and he's not gonna do any damage, so. What else we got? Beef up our shark lady in the back by casting some spells, and train steward! Dot, 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 he's like, uh, uh, What do you want me to do? Puts him in front. Thoughts you posted a vid while you were streaming. What a rip. What a liar. That video must have been pre recorded, huh? Spikes 4 could be okay on my hollow, but probably better on the sentient. She's the one taking most of the damage here. I'm gonna wildwood sap that boy so we can forget about him, not worry about buffing him for a while. Focus heals on her to do the damage. Sinvicta raided with a party of 114. Thank you so much, Sinvicta. Appreciate that. You guys, if you haven't uh, given Sinvicta's Twitch channel a follow, you should do that. Now-ish. It's like a pretty cool guy, I guess. Hey, I don't know. I guess he's pretty okay. I put up with him sometimes. Welcome, everybody. We're just about to crush the game. I think we have two more fights to go. Including this one, and we have a phenomenal build. 
Sissy. Revenge raids. What were you guys up to, Sinvita? Were you just playing? Sap me. I think we're gonna wanna brief moment of respite. Probably stack the regen on her. It's been working out really, really well by doing that. Minecraft Dungeons, Isaac, and Monster Train. You know, those were my three things that I was thinking about playing today. I downloaded and installed Minecraft Dungeons. I bought it and did the rest. Um, just didn't pick it up yet. Didn't actually jump in. Hope you're having a great day, says Amrose. Thanks for the two months in a row. Appreciate you. You'll like Dungeons. I think I will too. A lot of good people. Uh, people saying good things about it. Let me just do that on this guy from here and out. Although we do get this lady in the back buffed up every time I do cast a spell down here. Even if I'm nothing. Really opens up after you get the first difficulty. Dungeons is so good, says Judy. It's simply fun. Dungeon looks neat. All right, final wave, living armor, relentless. It's already dead. Let's see how much more we can embarrass it. I'm gonna speed up the game a little bit here. It's only my second time streaming it, so I put the speed at like way low. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. So this guy, he's got revenge. Every time that he's damaged, he gets one more attack. Um, that can really stack up on you, especially if you were hitting him with like the Animu. But we're not. So it's it's a goner. Super overkill. New game stuff is good. But like we couldn't play together unless I got to that difficulty. To get smoked on. What do we got? Bramble rat lash is, is is good. I'm thinking about maybe taking the Wildwood Custodian and sneaking him up top. In in lieu of the uh, the train steward. Then we get another draw. This is just a draw one for two costs, and it's just too much. No, we can play together. I just don't want to play with you because you're a noob. Appropriate, appropriate response. If we would have gotten the capacity up, I would have gone for one of these bros, but we didn't. Did we? Purge the steward. Purge the steward, get rid of him. Forge spells or forge units. Some spells that I would really like to buff up. Cycle of life. Awoken Rail Spike. This untouched and graft spell. Crystalline Seeds, but probably not. Flash Freeze has got more room. Okay. If I were to upgrade my units, my Awoken Hollow and my Animus could use some extra juice, some little, a little bit of mustard on top. My Wildwood Custodian is literally just there to die. I could put him on no, he, he actually, we don't get the plus one draw if he dies. It's not like an imp or something. So never mind about that. I could buff him, but I think it'd be silly. We also have a dupe over here, and we could dupe the engraft like we were talking about before. And that would be pretty solid play. But I, grr, I really wish I could do the spells thing. Because that would be hot. This would be hot upgraded. Dupe and graft. Yeah, I probably should. Go hard in what we're good at, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's just go here first, just in case something amazing pops up. Spikes, endless, and 25 health. Not really feeling that. Save the money for the artifacts, probably. Good luck, bots. Gotta get food. Good luck on the food finding. 
When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Okay. The dazed when they enter the train is pretty hot too. 50% chance to just skip their next attack is is unbelievably powerful. Or I could re-roll and try to find something that would be... We, we, we'd have enough money to pretty much buy anything. Roll it. Concussive Coals is really good, you guys. Huts, would thou try to be Souls series? You mean like Dark Souls that I played? It's 50 50, but even if you get half the people that don't attack ever when they come in. Definitely Coles, says Disco Anger. A Agro, sorry. Discon Agro. One eyed Jack, two months in a row. Welcome back. Concussify them. There could be something way better that I don't even know about, though. So it's it's a hard call here. Shut, would you shut the hell up? Sassy me over here. Reroll. Reroll. What if you get the two times draw trinket? Buy it, reroll it, and then live with the regret. When you play your third spell of the turn, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. At the start of turn, add sting spell to your hand, or plus three magic power just in general. I... I, I play more than one spell per, or more than three, per turn always. So probably forgotten name. That's just plus one magic power every turn. <laughs> Honestly though, the coals could have been better. Coals could have easily been better than that. I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it like how I feel it. Train steward, you're gone. You're out. We don't want you here anymore. And I'm thinking about getting rid of a frozen lance. We just don't use it. Give ourselves a chance to get more restores because one restore is health and 60 damage. 60 damage. Pikachu's jumping up there, so happy. Poof. We're done, right? There's no reason not to buff some of these guys. No one really cares. I probably should have cut the swatch that. Swapped, swish, swip, 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 swap that. Switched it up. It's too late. This is the last fight. Let's go. This guy looks like a marijuana leaf. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. I forgot about that. We should have kept more of our. Oh, I forgot about that. That's less than good. All of our gra and graphs are gonna be consumed. That's really, really bad, actually. Dream team up and running. <laughs> Do we then get it rid of our restores? I guess. Eesh, that hurts. I could also just not use it. But I wanna. Good damage there. 54 damage. Right off the bat. Right out the gate. Use crap spells first. Yeah, but I've, I've removed everything, Poncho. I don't have any crap spells. Could just not use any spells. My restores are just, are just gone. 
I can just not restore and just wait it out until the boss is actually available to, to be to be hit and then just go ham city, but ugh, my graphs. I don't know what to do. Getting rid of one of my engrafts could be an okay thing to do. Hmm. Possibly the worst final boss we could have gotten. Possibly the worst one. This already has consume on it, so I'm fine. It's also gonna hit the boss. So that's a good deal there. We glimmer first. Cut out, cut the fat out. Then we focus on the important stuff. Cycle of life, yeah. Regen. I'm gonna pop the regen on this boy. Frostbite him while we can. It's already, like, almost half dead, so I think we're gonna do okay. I think we're gonna be just fine. Rail spike. What are you going to pull? Excuse me, go away. What if we rail spike the vengeful shard? I guess it'd be okay. It would get rid of him immediately. Would that be silly? Our, car, our hand is just full anyways. It'd make them really easy to use. And I honestly, I think I'd be fine with that. So use this, consume the one cost in graft, I'd be fine with that. Doesn't even have hold over. It's not even trying. And then if I use these, it's gonna then pull them, and I don't wanna do that. My hand is full, that's the problem. If I try to pull four cards, I might only pull one and be like, I can't, I can't pull anymore. I'm just gonna wait on the rail spike then. There's no sense in popping it now. If you're, you're fucked for the boss if you're not ready, lol. Okay, bye Pikachu. Pikachu, I choose you, dead. I love it when chat, when you guys pull a complete John Madden on me, if anyone remembers John Madden. Well, if he catches the ball in the end zone, it's gonna be a touchdown, and that's gonna be a really hard catch to, it's gonna be really hard to throw to catch if it hits the ground. You're gonna have trouble with that boss fight if you're not ready. Yeah. That's how it usually works. I know nothing about football. It's just the most blatantly obvious things. Just to like keep the conversation rolling. Six energy, you guys. I should just pop it. I should just pop it. My hand's freed up. I just don't want to get in grafts. Be such a waste. Go. Two in grafts in there and a vengeful shard. But hey, free glim. Oh, glim me dad. I'll take a glim. It's not really gonna benefit anybody. These getting these back is nice though. Drop the venge spike plus pop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Frostbite's good for that fella. And let's go ahead and apply some more regen. The more regen, the better. 
This guy's doing, I think, like 27 damage per turn, and a little bit of regen would make a difference. If you don't play that card, it won't get played. The team with the most points is gonna win the game. Exactly. I wish this counted as a card that would exhaust. That's an easy choice here. I didn't get this one minus two, but we'll live. Continue. <laughs> you were gonna kill it before it's even available to be killed. Like, before it's fighting, rather, is what I'm what I'm trying to say here. Oh, sap me, mama. Be gone! Look at our card draw per turn. That's insanity! Free Vengeful Shard. Lucky. This, this boy's screwed, dude. Which way did I just waste? Did I just waste that card? I just wasted my Glimmer. <sighs> Why did I just... Yeet my Glim? Could've yeeted this one, it would've been fine. I don't need that many more spikes. I got too excited about the win. Stopped looking. Now I'm gonna starve. Look at this guy's health. Oh, rough day. Dirty mouth. Clean it up. By getting fucked. Alright. What do we got going on? Get rid of that one. It's fine. Spike hurts enemies. You know, the enemies are gonna be taking damage if they jump into those damage causing spikes. I don't know if you know that or not. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. Look at our Shark Lady, though. 88 health, 58 damage, 38 block. Just loaded back there. He's still got a little bit of regen on him. He's still doing fine. Flash Freeze, my boy. 32 f damage per turn. Just... I want to kill him. I want to kill him, but he's probably going to be available. He's probably going to be fighting next turn. If we would have gotten him, it probably would have been an achievement. Damn you. So close. Yeah, now he's fighting me. So I got so close. Oh no, we're just gonna normally win now. Boo! I don't wanna just win. I wanna embarrass the team. The other team, the other guys. Not gonna get a shot off though, that's that's for sure. That's lame. Normally winning? Fucking novice. That was good. We had a good combo. It didn't even matter that they were getting rid of our spells. We were spell we were so spell reliant. Didn't even matter. This is like on Slay the Spire, when you're going up against, uh... The dude that levels up, it gets more damage every time you use a power. But you're like, defect with nothing but powers. You just gotta power through it. We just unlock this. Healing spells, casting this for a minus one cost. Edge. That could be really good.
Cuddle Hex, end of turn, apply Frozen to a random card in your hand. Okay, Frozen means that it just doesn't go away. You keep it in your hand. Could be cool, I guess. And an artifact, 50% chance to apply spell weakness to an enemy unit that enters your train. If they have one stack of spell weakness, then they double the amount of the damage spell. So like the explosion, the, the health explosion one, does like maximum of 50 damage un, unupgraded. With spell weakness, I think that would do 100 damage. If you have a stack of 10 spell weakness on an enemy, which I have had before, 10 times the damage. 500 damage. I need help. The chat lost so many brain cells. All right. So we're looking at. So these mark victories between each of the different um, things. We've almost unlocked this last one here. We need to kill, what, 73 more units to unlock them. So like this is a Awoken Hellhorned victory, Awoken Stygian, Awoken Umbra. Umbra sounds lit. Is it cool? My least favorite. My least favorite for sure. Alright, should we do another run? <laughs>